Verne is a city and municipality in the Belgian province of West Flanders. The municipality comprises the town of Verne proper and the settlements of Avercapel, Buitschuk, Bolskamp, De Moren, Egerwartskapel, Houtem, Steenkerke, Vinkem, Wolveringham, and Zutenai. History Origins in the 15th century Verne, in Latin Ferna, is first found in 877 as a possession of the St. Bettine Abbey in St. Omer. Around 890 AD, it was noted as a fortification against the Viking raids. It soon was placed at the head of the Castellani of Vern, a large territory counting 42 parishes and some eight half-independent parishes, owing allegiance to the Count of Flanders. Verne became a city in the 12th century. During the following century, trade with England flourished. In 1270, however, the relations with England came to a standstill and the city's economy went into a long decline, hence the nickname of the Verne Sleepers. On August 20, 1297, the Battle of Verne was fought in the ongoing struggle between the Flemish cities and the French king. The beautiful Gothic Church of St. Walburga and the Tower of the Church of St. Nicholas date from that period. St. Walburga housed a chapter of canons. St. Nicholas and St. Denis were the two other parish churches and possessions of the Norbertine Abbey of St. Nicholas. 15th century until the French Revolution The 15th century saw the construction of a new city hall, which is known today as the Pavilion of the Spanish Offices, from its use in the 17th century as military headquarters. As most of the West Oak, the city and the neighborhood strongly recessed during the economic and religious problems around 1566 to 1583. But where the town and the Castellani officially got together, the town flourished thanks to the expanding agriculture of the agraric region. Most of the other historic buildings date from this time. The prosperous reign of the Archdukes Albert and Isabella around 1600. In 1644 the Capuchins organized a procession. Since 1646, this procession was organized by the Sodalus, a religious confraternity that organized a crossway during Advent time. Under the leadership of the Norbertine monk Jacob Clough, the hooded Sodalus took a cross for penitence. This procession was expanded at the end of the 17th century with scenes from the Bible, and is the only one of his kind, remaining up to now in Flanders. The second half of the 17th century was marked by the miseries brought to the region by Louis XIV's wars. Vauban built heavy fortifications around the city, the outlines of which are still noticeable from the air today. Joseph II of Austria put them down and closed some of the religious institutions, putting a temporary end to the penitence procession, until Leopold II of Austria allowed it again in 1790. Those few cloisters that were still operating were closed at the French Revolution, 19th and 20th century from the Battle of Waterloo until World War I, Verne could enjoy a century of quiet and prosperity. In 1830, Verne was the first city to welcome Belgium's new king, Leopold I, in his new country. The railway was made on demand of Robert Stevenson as a passway to Dunkirk and so to England. During World War I, Verne was located within the YSER pocket of Belgian resistance against the German troops. During the Battle of the YSER, the Verne City Hall became the headquarters for the Belgian troops under King Albert I and a military hospital was set up in the city. In 1920, the French president, Raymond Poincaré, came to Verne to award the city the Croix de Guerre with Palm. Verne suffered some damage during World War II, mainly from Allied bombing but also from the strategic flooding that engulfed the whole area. Today, the city is a regional center, which gives commercial, medical, and educational services to the surrounding communities while enjoying increasing tourist attention. Sites Several Renaissance-style buildings, mostly built using the local light-colored brick, adorn Verne's central market square, which make it one of Belgium's finest market squares. Among these are the City Hall and Belfry, which is recognized by UNESCO as World Heritage Sites in 1999. 
The nearby church of St. Walburga is a splendid example of the earlier Gothic style. Other buildings of interest include the church of St. Nicholas, the Spanish pavilion, and the old meat market. The beautiful castle of Beauvoir on the outskirts of town can also be visited. It shows how a squire reinstalled an old manor with its magnificent collection of 17th-century furniture, NATO Tower, and Occupied Tower 243 meters tall used for meteorological research and radio relay links. Folklore The annual Boatet Processi takes place every year on the last Sunday of July. This unique event includes cross-carrying, hooded penitents and other groups of participants who recreate the Passion of Jesus. Towns The municipality of Vern comprises 11, Deal Gamintus. Vern proper is the largest centre and has the largest population. The others are small rural villages. Avacapel, Buitschuk, Bulskamp, Demoren, Egerwartskapel, Houtemp, Steenkirke, Vinkemp, Wolveringham and Zutenai. The municipality of Vern has a total resident population of 11.701. Source. Official website City of Vern Notable people from Vern. Victor Bouquet, painter. Carol Cogger, hero of the Battle of the YSER in World War I. Paul Delvox, surrealist painter, lived in Verne for more than 20 years and died there. Edmund Hansen's 1884, explorer of Congo. Teresa of Portugal, Countess of Flanders around 1200, also died in Verne. Waltura, singer, musician, composer, and songwriter, was born in Verne. Honorary citizens King Albert I, Paul Delvox, Franz Brau, Walter Playetink, Will Turer, Willem Vermadera, Twin City, Germany, Rosrath.